Hey everybody, welcome to Brickvolt, my name is Mike and today it is time for another mox video. That's right, 10 top mox of the week I have found to be super cool and this week is gonna be really vehicle heavy so expect a lot of cool vehicles as well as some dioramas. Uh, and at uh, the end of the video I'm gonna be showing your mocks that you keep sending to our fan mocks email. Those are pretty awesome so we're gonna check those out. But without too much more talking let's check out the first mock right here. And as always guys you can find all the links to those cool creations in the video description below. And to start off with number 10 on somewhat of a funny note, we have Sector 7G. That is Homer Simpson's workstation in the nuclear power plant. And I may be kind of biased because I love the show, I love Homer's character and his numerous failures in his workstation during numerous episodes are kind of a running gag I always expect to happen. This is somewhat of a simple build but we have all the details required included. There is of course the donut box, a number of controls that Homer is supposed to be operating. I am not really sure if he ever touches any of them or at least not the right ones and all this comes together with high accuracy to the actual show as you can see on the graphic the builder chris adams took a lot of effort to recreate this room as closely as possible i also like this build so much because we are quite close to getting all the simpsons minifix for a collection video and i think recreating this build would be a cool idea to come along with the homer's minifig Number 9 is definitely darker, that is the Balrog from Lord of the Rings series. If you don't know the guy, that's basically him. You shall not pass! And this build by Jonas Crumb pretty much resembles what Gandalf was so afraid of. The build for his flame whip is pretty cool, but I especially like the use of pieces and the connections made between them. There is a number of impressive techniques used, and given the fact that this is almost a completely stylless build, the quality of this design is simply through the roof. That definitely must be one of the best Balrog builds in LEGO form I have seen. I am not sure how plausible the demon is, but the pose that the designer chose for him is uh, still pretty creepy. All in all, despite Gandalf's defense, it did pass to the top 10 list. Moving up the list, number 8 is from the video game world, that is the Sawtooth attack from the Horizon Zero Dawn game. A creation by Steve Brown is uh, really cool in its simplicity, but yet very effective. I really enjoyed playing this game and I have to say that this build for the Sawtooth creature is quite accurate. Again, this is a simple build for both the Sawtooth and the accompanying Watcher creature, but also with added alloy character, that is the main character in the game by the way, and a small piece of environment, it makes up for a quite a complete set. We have seen quite a few mocks around this game, especially the Thunder Joe by Marius Herman from a few weeks ago, but this one really caught my eye because of the simple design and great looks. That seems to be one of those easy to build models that will look great on any fan's desk. And as we just mentioned, the Thunder Joe from Marius Herman, this great designer, came up with another Cars, that is the Audi R8 in two forms and Bugatti Veyron, both in a Speed Champions scale. And I picked those because I really like the Speed Champions theme and the scale of the cars that is used in this one, but Marius always goes a step further and gets all the details in despite the scale. And as we look at both Audis, that is the e-tron version and the Star of Lucy's version from King's Life Final Fantasy XV movie, both amazing builds with great shapes and amazing use of pieces and it definitely beats any speed champions car i have seen from the official lego set same goes for his bugatti veyron design that uses some pieces from the official bugatti chiron set but honestly i think his design looks just better as well some fine use of small minifig arms for the side mirrors and all the curves along with the color combination just make wonders in this build i really wish to recreate both cars to just add them to our lego speed champions collection and as we are all anticipating the Saturn V Ideas set, number 6 fits right here on the list. This is the RSS Mode of Dust a spaceship. And it is not too sci-fi to be honest, it looks more like a modern rocket. And the designer, Roland Peschetz, gave it a lot of background lore. Apparently his imagination made this rocket to look like the one we would have in 300 years from now because the maiden flight was happening on August 8th, 23. 49. This overall beautiful design is full of details, we even get a crew along with the ship, and the color combination, even if it's very simple, works very well. I'm pretty sure there is a number of clever techniques used in the build, and I'm really glad I found this LEGO build, because it just makes me crave the Saturn V set even more. A beautiful mock that will go along just fine with the actual set. 
Number 5 comes from a cult classic, that is the Terminator 2 truck chase scene. That is of course the famous scene where T-1000 chases John Connor in a massive tow truck and Arnold Schwarzenegger pretty much jumps in to save the day. And first off, the dynamic of the scene is simply amazing. Those rubble pieces being broken by the impact of the truck are put on those transparent pieces and the effect is uh, quite stunning. This was definitely one of the most epic car chases in the history of uh, cinema and this scene is quite an awesome tribute to the entire movie. But not only we have this frozen action moment in here, there is also plenty of detail spread here and there and in my opinion the only thing that is really missing here is the Terminator on his Harley. But still, the moment of the movie is captured perfectly and I would really love to see more of the Judgment Day moments from this designer. And as we are going up the list close to the top 3, number 4 is somewhat change of the pace. This is Life on Wheels by Brick Surgeon. A beautiful artsy build of a lone traveler and his trusty horse and he definitely seems to be traveling with his entire heritage. It is somewhat of a mellow scene, but again the amount of details and the techniques used here is uh, simply astonishing. The entire base plate is very irregular, definitely one of my favorite styles in diorama display. This build definitely delivers a lot of joy just by checking all the small corners and brick connections that make up the entire look. It somehow does remind me of the Lord of the Rings vibe, like the opening scene when Gandalf visits Shire. You're late. A wizard is never late, Frodo Baggins. And I just can't help it, but I love the overall atmosphere. You can even kind of feel the long road this uh, lone traveler has behind him. And most definitely for even more cool dioramas from this designer, check out his Flickr page. Highly recommend it. Alright, we are moving into the top 3 and uh, number 3 is a set of mini scale bikes by Brian Kestenowicz. Well, I hope I pronounced the last name right, but anyway, these bikes are very impressive. Not only the looks are amazing, but the scale it was all made in is quite staggering. Brian was able to use very few pieces for each one of them to achieve either futuristic or classic or somewhat of a speedy look. And this definitely tells me he is highly talented in choosing the right pieces for the job. We have a set of uh, 5 different bikes. That is the Naked Bike, the Dresser, the Retro Bonneville Streamliner, Midnight Cruiser and Future Sport. And if I was to choose my favorite, I simply cannot because I love every single one of them. There is a great change from seeing all those massive bike builds and it was really hard to believe for me how Brian achieved those amazing looks using not even a tenth of the amount of pieces you usually see in such builds. At this point he kind of jumped into my hall of fame of Lego mock builders and you should definitely check out his Flickr page for his, for example, amazing mech builds. One of the best ones I have ever seen. And moving higher up, number two is a figure of a goddess Cielan by Ero Oknen. According to the designer, that is the goddess of skies, clouds, weathers and all things are real. It is so high up the list because this is a very, very original build and it is using a number of very unique and somewhat bizarre bionicle pieces. Many of normal LEGO users would not ever find a use for such pieces as the ones that make up for her hair, but apparently Ero was able to use them for great effect. The creation looks more like a doll than a LEGO build and both the color combination and the pieces combination work perfectly. Every single part of the figure's body, starting from the boots, through the torso and onto her head, is a piece of art on its own. And such builds are always staggering to me because I would never come up with such solutions for brick connections and I believe many of you wouldn't also. This is a good example that LEGO is not only about cubic bricks, but also about pieces that at first look maybe useless, but with certain level of imagination can create amazing things. A good word to use for this build is Fascinating. A fascinating use of parts. And as you may have noticed, this episode is somewhat vehicle heavy and thus number one is about vehicles, especially Ferraris and this is the Ferrari dealership by Ryan Link. Just a small point about this one, it is a 36,000 Lego pieces built, an ultimate tribute to the Ferrari brand and a great proof of Ryan's passion for Ferraris. We have featured his builds a number of times because his Ferrari car builds are second to none. This beautiful mock was uh, in 
his hands for a while, but he finally decided to post the pictures. It took him over 4 years to complete, and this is definitely a convention level build. 36,000 pieces, a number of Ferrari cars, beautifully flushed out interior, 2 stories of awesomeness and luxury. That is simply astonishing. Honestly, if Ferrari ever saw that mock, they should either purchase this from Ryan or ask his permission to recreate it and perhaps display it in one of their biggest dealerships. That is certainly an epic achievement and I am not only talking about the building but also every single Ferrari car in there. All of these are simply pieces of art and I would just love to witness this build at least once in my lifetime. Alright guys, so those are the 10 mocks for this week's really cool builds and now is the time to check out what you guys have sent to us. Thank you again so much for watching, my name is Mike, I'll see you again on Brick Vault, let's cue the music and check out your mocks.